Okay, in this video we're going to talk about solving simple linear equations. And in turn it will be keeping the balance. We want to keep the balance. And when I'm talking about keeping the balance, I mean keeping the balance with our equal sign, okay? So if A is equal to B in the beginning of an equation, we want to keep that balance the whole time, okay? Let's talk about that. So you can imagine an equal sign is similar to a scale in that a scale shows us weights that are balanced. When we do operations in order to solve an equation, we have to do them in such a way that we keep the equal sign balanced. For example, let's say I have three pieces of gold on each side of my scale. And maybe down on the table, I have a few more pieces that I want to put on the scale. Well, or take off, we'll see. If I have more to put on the scale, whatever, in order to keep the equal sign or the scale balanced, I'm going to need to add or take away the same weight to both sides. Now you can see that if I add another one on this side here on the left, that the scale will tilt downward, okay? So then your scale will actually wind up going, tipping to the left, okay? So let me get that weight out of there now. I've remained balanced now, okay? And of course, I have the same thing on both sides. It doesn't always have to be that. We know that three is equal to three. What if I have an unknown quantity, like x, for example? x is equal to three. Well, Different things could happen on that left side. I could add six of one thing, take away three of another, or something to that effect. We can see what would happen there. Okay. How about this one? What if I have a three X on one side and a six on the other? What does X have to be? So what weight or what amount should be multiplied by three? in order to stay balanced, right, to continue with my equal sign with 6. Well, most of you know that 3 times 2 is 6, right? Right, 3 times 2 is 6. So when I go to solve this small equation of 3x is equal to 6, what I do to the left side in order to get x by itself, right, ultimately we want to have x is equal to our solution, right? So when we go here multiplying x and 3, we have to divide off the 3. What I do to the left side, I must do to the right side. That's striking the balance. That's adding or taking away the same weight. If I divide by 3 on the left, I must divide by 3 on the right. So we see 3 over 3 is 1. And then I have x, right? x here x is equal to 6 divided by 3, or 2. So when you go to solve linear equations, we're striking the balance. What you do to one side, you must do to the other. Now, I could sit here and give you the, all the properties of equality, but that, in a nutshell, that is what the properties of equality are all about when you're solving linear equations, or any equation, actually. So here's an example. Let's solve this equation, or keep it balanced. Let's balance this equation and find x by itself on the e one side of the equal sign in the end in the process, okay? Remember that's your goal. Your goal is always to get x by itself isolated on one side, okay? And the name of the game, the rules of the game, is to keep this equal sign or the scale balanced. So we begin by getting the added or subtracted terms off onto the other side, right? So this, we'll start with the minus 3. Now since 3 is subtracted, what are we going to do? To move it or to remove it from this side and to make it pop up over here. So this is when we use the inverse operation of subtraction. So what is the undoer of subtraction? addition. So if in our original equation we have subtraction of 3, right, in order to get it to move from the left and pop up on the right, we're going to add 3. 
this is where we keep the balance. What we do to the left side here, we must do to the right side of our equation. So you can see what's going to happen here. We'll end up with a new equivalent version of our equation. Okay, and that will be what? If you said 4x is equal to 8, you are correct. So now we start there. Okay, and you do the next thing. We'll find the inverse operation for the next item. Working towards getting x by itself. So here's where we are. 4x is equal to 8. Now the operation left over between 4 and x would be multiplication. So what is the undoer, right, or the inverse operation of multiplication? Division, right. So we have to divide by 4 to mul since it's multiplied by x right now. So we'll divide by 4 on both sides of this equation. Both sides to keep the balance of the equal sign. So here's what that looks like. Notice I've divided by 4 on the left and on the right. So what happens here is this. I have on the left side, my 4's will cancel, right? 4 divided by itself or it would be 1, right? The cancellations occur. So now I just have an x left on the left side, so that's a good sign, is equal to, and now 8 divided by 4 we see is 2, or if you want to say it in terms of reducing, we say 4 goes into itself once, 4 goes into 8 twice, of course leaving me with 2 over 1 or just 2, okay? And so finally, we have, as our solution, balanced the equation or the scale, x is equal to 2. Okay, now you might ask yourself, how can I check this work? How can I make sure I got this right? So we'll verify that x is equal to 2 is the solution to the equation 4x minus 3 is equal to 5. The way we do this is wherever we see an x in our equation, we're going to plug in the solution we got. So here's the x, and in that place there, that's where we're going to put the 2. Here's what it looks like, and this is the best way to do this because we want to be careful when you have positive or negative signs. Anytime you go to plug in a value, use a set of parentheses like this. So instead of x, I'm putting a set of empty parentheses, and I'm writing out my equation. Now I'm going to go into those parentheses, and into that set of parentheses, I'm going to put in the value 2. Okay, so that's the, word, that's the solution I'm checking. So now let's just check this and see if the equal sign remains true or balanced. So 4 times 2 is 8, right? So we have 8 minus 3 is equal to 5. 8 minus 3, let's come right here, 8 minus 3 is 5. And on the right side, we still have our 5. So this is true. In other words, x equal to 2 is correct. It is definitely a solution to this equation. So you got that one right. That's how you check your equation solution. Okay, you guys, that was your very quick uh, primer on solving simple linear equations. Remember, keep the equal sign or that scale of the equal sign balanced. What you do to one side, you do to the other. Of course, you guys have a great day. Let me know if you have any questions. I am here for you guys. Talk to you soon.